What is a delegate in the presidential race? What's well, somebody that's running for president? They uh, vote for a specific uh, candidate for a specific position. That's someone who's representing a, a certain amount of people to uh, come to the convention as a spokesperson. What is the Electoral College? A farce. It's the states have so many electoral votes and they uh, cast them for the president. It's a group of people that uh, have been appointed who are eventually going to select a candidate. True or false, if a presidential candidate gets the most votes from people in the voting booth, he or she will be elected president. I think from what I have read uh, before, not necessarily. False. Popular vote doesn't carry the whole thing. I think it has to do with the Electoral College. Should the popular vote total determine who is president instead of votes from the Electoral College? Yes, I think so. I think so. The popular vote should uh, be given more emphasis. Do you need a government-issued ID to vote? No. I think so, yeah. Here in Texas, voters are now required to present an approved form of photo ID in order to vote in all elections. Should all states require a government-issued ID to vote, yes or no? Yes. They give uh, too many people, block them if they have to go get a government ID. Some people can't do it. The ID will just uh, tell you that you really are entitled to vote. And I think that's the difference between uh, a citizen and a non-citizen. The person walking up to cast a, a vote, they, someone should know who they are. I mean, they should have some sort of proof who they are. If you don't have an ID, you evidently don't belong here. And if you don't belong here, you shouldn't vote. Of course, Election Day here in Texas is March 1st, day also known as Super Tuesday. And as you can see, you have a few choices. With this week's edition of Say What? For CBS4News and ValleyCentral.com, I'm Dan Joseph.